In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Manal Carry On 2.0, a great pack for urban one bag travel, really great for digital nomads and perpetual travelers with a lot of smart features. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, and we share our travel tips and tricks. We do travel gear guides, and we do reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's jump right into the Manal Carry On 2.0. At the time of this review, I've personally been testing the Manal Carry On 2.0 for about 1.5 months in Detroit, Minneapolis, Los Angeles, and New York City. So I've taken it around quite a bit. It's had a lot of mileage on my back, and I've been testing in a lot of different climates. Also, we talked to my friend Roberto and the programmer for packhacker.com, and he had a lot to say about the bag as well as he's been using it for the last eight months traveling from country to country, basically living out of the thing. Roberto has been traveling with the gray version and I have been traveling with the black version. So this was released in mid-December of 2017. This is the Auraki black version, named after Auraki Mountain in New Zealand, which is where Jimmy and Doug, the founders of Manal are from, and it's where Manal operates. The Manal Carry On 2.0 offers a sleek and minimalistic look. It's definitely one of the better travel bags out there. It does have pretty optimal packing space, but it doesn't really look like a box on your back. And although Manal kind of swears off of liters and they want nothing to do with them because there is no consistency in liter measurements from brand to brand, they do say that this is going to be around 35 to 40 liters in size. I did email them and kind of confirm that with them. The minimal branding of Manal kind of ties into the rest of the aesthetic of this pack. I personally think it's a great looking pack and a lot of other travelers do as well. One of the things that I have noticed with this nylon is that it tends to attract a little bit more dirt and dust than what I'm used to seeing in other bags that we've reviewed. If I'm gonna say that this nylon is close to anything, it seems like maybe like a 600D Cordura or something like that. This fabric isn't listed on the Manal site, so I reached out to them to clarify, and here's what they said back. Both bag designs and colors are made from the most durable, wearable nylon fabric we found in our years of searching. So that doesn't really tell us a lot. And I followed up again and I asked, hey, what's the denier? What specific nylon is it? Is it Cordura? So it's a bit of a mystery nylon that attracts more dust than other nylons. Starting with the strap system on the pack, these are super great. They are a high density foam, very comfortable to wear. Side note that they can get a little bit wrinkly, but that's a small aesthetic thing and nobody's ever gonna see that. The sternum strap on here is highly adjustable, which is really nice, and they do allow you to clip the sternum strap to the strap when you're not using it, so you can kind of have a dangle-free experience. The sternum strap overall is a little bit chunky. I've seen it done up in a little bit of a more minimal way on other packs, but it still gets the job done, and that ability to stow it on the strap itself is super nice to have. On the top, we do have some magnetic load lifters. And at first I thought these wouldn't really hold that well, but they turn out to be some of my favorite features on the pack. So again, with load lifters, it really lifts that weight off of your back. And these have held up overall really well, even on Roberto's. There's some slight kind of patina on the magnet, maybe some like rust going on. But other than that, super durable and holding up well, really takes a lot of weight off of your pack and distributes it evenly on your back. Underneath the load lifter straps, you have the dimensions of the bag in text. So you can actually, you know, show that to the TSA or gate agent and say, hey, these are the actual measurements. The black on black is a little bit hard to read. It's better on the gray. I think they might have had a bit of a design oversight with that one. And again, like the TSA and the gate agent are probably going to weigh it with their own systems or use their own predetermined cubby to make sure that your bag is, again, okay to carry on. But it's kind of a nice little feature that they have there and just goes to show really how much thinking Manal has put into the overall travel experience and trying to make it as seamless as possible. So I definitely really appreciate that. Additionally, the pack does come with a detachable hip belt. So if hip belts are your thing, you're carrying a lot of weight, that's gonna be pretty good. It does work well, it's kind of no frills. I mean, it's just an ordinary padded hip belt. And one of the things with this harness overall is you have the ability to hide it. So you kind of unroll this top part, fold it down, kind of fold everything inside of the pack. Sort of takes a long time. 
So there, boom, all the straps are hidden. Definitely offers a nice look when it's all sealed up. But there's a couple things that I find a little bit weird with this system overall. So if we go ahead and unzip it, right? First of all, it takes a while to do this. Second of all, you have to roll this up and there's really nothing that locks it into place, which it does stay within the top of the pack after you do roll it up. But you definitely can feel it, especially with these compression straps on, you can feel it right here, kind of in your upper back and your neck. So that takes a little bit to get used to. Make sure to wrap that thing up really, really tightly. And again, you kind of just have this zipper right here that's sort of just hanging out. You know, it just kind of looks like an empty zipper and that's gonna be there when you are using the pack primarily. So some other bags I think do this a little bit better. They have like a little bit of a pouch that you can just slip the straps into quickly. And it should be something that's really fast and easy to do. And I think this is a little bit of a complex system. Um, but wrapping up the harness system, there is a nice padded back spot that's really comfortable on your back. And overall, it's a very comfortable carry. Both of the top and the side handles are nicely padded for quick grabs. Again, you probably don't wanna carry this thing around as a briefcase, but the handle is angled should you need to carry it for a short distance. It's gonna kind of stay balanced. It needs to be angled because the handle isn't exactly, you know, straight on right in the middle of the pack. So you're gonna have a little bit of weight distribution variance there. The compression straps are very minimalistic and they're a nice feature here. So when you're not using the compression strap, you just strap it to the same side of the bag. You clip it to the same side of the bag. When you are using them, it's easy enough to unhook that, hook it here, and then just cinch it down. And again, that will block that main clamshell zipper and the zipper in the back, which we'll get into in a second. But it's super nice to use those and switch those out. Um, you know, they've really handled this nice. A lot of other companies have these giant buckles kind of laying around and I feel like this is a nice minimalistic system that adds to the clean look and functionality of the pack. The water bottle system on the side of this is basically just some fabric that seems to be folded up. There's not a ton of stretch or give in it, which is a little bit odd. Um, not super flexible with the size of the water bottles that you can snugly fit in here. And then they just kind of have this bungee cord that's at the top that'll again, keep that bottle close to your bag. But there's a couple issues with this. One, I think it's just like a massive bungee cord. Another is when I grabbed this top cap on Roberto's backpack, it sort of just flew off. And that was a little bit weird. And on this new backpack, we were able to get that off as well. And it seems like it's sort of like held in here in a bit of an odd way. I don't necessarily think this will last for years and years to come. Although it's been decent for the eight months that Roberto's been using it. I do have a bit of concerns with the durability on that and the overall configuration of this water bottle pocket. It's decent, it's just, you know, I don't think it's the best system. And lastly, a big win for the Manal Carry On 2.0 is that you do have this little pouch at the bottom here where you can hold a rain cover. And I think that's a massive win. So this nylon itself is pretty water resistant. If you get caught on the rain for maybe like 10 minutes, you're gonna be okay. But if you get caught for longer or in a heavier downpour and you do need to stay outside or you want to, there is that attached rain fly in here. You just pop it out, cover your bag, and boom, you're good to go. I love that that's integrated right with the pack. Great feature. Now if we start off with the back of the pack, there's kind of a convenient half clamshell that opens up here. We're gonna have this basically zippered compartment at the top that's about the height of a credit card, good for pens, good for pencils. And then we have this document folder right here, which you can throw your documents into. There's also a special passport pocket here for your passport. Fits really nicely in there, even inside of a case. So I definitely think that's a great way to store your passport. Decently secure as well. And if we flip that over, we're gonna be taking a look at the suspension system for the laptop. So at first I thought this was gonna be a little bit odd, but the more I use it, the more I kind of fell in love with it. I think it's a really slick system. So. Devices can go up here in this front pocket, and then you have maybe a laptop or something larger in this back pocket. Uh, both these sides are super adjustable. It takes a little bit to get used to. You might get the, the corner snagged a little bit on your first couple tries in and out of here with the devices, but um, once you do get this adjusted to your device sizes, it fits really nicely. And what it does is it basically holds your devices and your tablets in the center of this pack. So if you drop your pack on the side, it's gonna be less likely that there's gonna be impact right on the side of your laptop because it'll kind of be suspended in the middle of the pack. Moving on to the outside of the pack, there are two quick grab pockets here. So 
The first is pretty standard. And again, you just like throw stuff in there when you're going through security. I think these pockets are really nice to have at the top. Just use them as separate organization compartments. Then there's another quick grab pocket with another mesh pocket within the inside of this thing. So got some Japanese green tea in here. Love that Japanese green tea. And then you kind of unzip this mesh pocket and you can store more things and sort more things out. In here, there's actually a key clip, which is a bit of a hidden feature. Pretty standard, it's just a plastic clip, nothing too fancy, but th there is a place for your keys if you do want to use that. Moving on to the main clamshell of the pack. These are two big fat number 10 YKK zippers, so they're super durable and they're gonna, you know, have some good longevity to them. All the zippers on the Manal 2.0 are YKK, so you can be sure that they are high quality. And one of the things with this main clamshell that Manal does that I find really interesting and I actually started to like a lot was that you can load your gear onto the scoop side of the pack. So it's not super rigid. I wouldn't necessarily recommend loading a bunch of individually rolled up t-shirts, but if you do have a couple packing cubes, these are gonna be great to put on this side. So I've got a GORUCK padded field pocket. Um, I've got two Eagle Creek packet Spectre cubes, and then this Muji toiletry top kit going on here. And you know, this is great because there's really nothing else to access under here. Nothing at all. Um, it's just, again, that plain lining. But then, on the back side of the clamshell, what you do have here is a two-thirds mesh pocket and a one-third regular pocket. And these are 3D pockets, meaning that they do come out of the bag a little bit. So you can put, you know, more than just flat items in there. So inside of this mesh pocket, you could have, you know, individual items. I just have a Magpul DACA pouch because I like to put stuff within other stuff. It's easy for organization and just quickly grabbing something out of there. And again, you've just got this other pocket down here. So uh, there's another Magpul DACA pouch in here. And I've got a bunch of Orbit Winter Mint gum, favorite flavor of gum. I was back for the holidays and my family gave me a bunch of it as a present. Thank you, family, amazing. So we'll close that back off. And the last thing to mention here is that there are four different attachment points for some Manal accessories. So. Uh, they attach their shirt protector here. We don't have one. We think packing cubes are really great for that, but just notice that these are here if you need them and they kind of disappear into the background if they are not needed. As we mentioned earlier, I've been testing the Manal Carry On 2.0 for about 1.5 months. And Roberto has been testing this for about eight months and we kind of took a look and dived in and compared each of these bags. Across the board, I don't have a ton of confidence in that bungee that holds a water bottle down. Again, the cap on Roberto's popped off right away and we were able to get the cap off of mine pretty easily as well. And just taking a look at Roberto's, there's some just normal wear and tear. There's a bit of fraying on some of the nylon loops. There's some patina and slight rust marks on the magnet. Nothing too crazy going on there. There's a bit of a bite on the nylon on the top part up here on his. Keep in mind, Roberto has been almost living out of this thing and using it daily, so the durability overall has been pretty awesome. Even after months of nonstop usage, it's held its ground and then some. We definitely recommend this pack to the digital nomad or frequent traveler that wants some handy, slick features and a really great overall look and some good durability. So is the pack durable? Yes. Is it the most durable pack on the market? No. Will it be durable enough for you? Probably, depending on the type of travel you're doing. Again, that's up to you. Overall, we rate this pretty high on the durability scale. So to wrap this thing up with some pros and cons, the overall look of the Manal Carry On 2.0 is some of the best that we've seen in urban travel packs. And we think it's one of the better looking bags on the market. The well thought out features come in handy whenever you're using this pack. And you can tell that Manal really went through and thought a lot about how they were gonna design this thing. So we really appreciate those design considerations. The laptop suspension works really well and helps protect your laptop when it is in your bag and you're traveling around. The water bottle system on the side isn't the greatest. And again, that bungee doesn't seem to be super durable based on our testing. The specific blend of nylon seems to attract more dirt and dust than other brands of nylon that we have tested. The hideaway strap system seems to be lacking a little bit from rolling up this flap and manually stuffing it into the top of your bag to a zipper always sticking out of the pack. We feel like we've seen some other bags that have done it better, but it still does its job and works. It's just gonna take you a little bit longer and it's not the slickest system that we've seen. 
Thanks for taking a look at the Manal Carry On 2.0 review. If you want to get a little bit more into the nitty gritty, head over to our website at packhacker.com to take a look at this full review. We have some product data there, and we just overall go into a little bit more detail on our written reviews, so definitely check that out. And if you're wanting to stay up to date on everything Packhacker, head over to packhacker.com slash newsletter and never miss an update. Thanks for taking a look. We'll see you in the next video. Share our travel tips and tricks, do guides. Smooth it out. Smooth it out. Oh yeah.